Hello, one and all. Uh, sorry, before we get started, sorry for the lack of videos. I've just been busy with other stuffs. But anyways, um, today I'm going to show you my Christmas presents that I got yesterday. Just before we begin, the DVDs that you will see in this, because I already made a community post about it. The DVDs I'll be showing off in this won't be counted for the December DVD update video that'll be out in a few days, just saying. I'm not going to count them. Technically, they do count, but I won't be showing them off in that video. But, ask for other DVDs that I've gotten for this month, they'll be show off, of course. But, uh, yeah, either way, they would technically count but we're not going to count them in the video because i don't want to be piled up on dvds so without further ado let's get started so let's sh show off some of the stuff i got so i got this little like phone stand for my phone that i can like like this i can basically put on I have a computer uh, storage. Basically, I can put more stuff on this off my computer. I got a br brand new wallet, and it's not just any wallet. It's a Only Fools and Horses Del Boy wallet. I honestly love this thing, because we all know Del Boy is the money maker in Only Fools and Horses. It just fits right. Absolutely love it. I also have a Lego set. Now I'm not technically a fan of Lego, but this is a Fast and Furious Lego set of the Dodge Charger. It's not completed yet, it's still a pain to make, but this is what I've completed so far. Um the the bum the back is basically done, that's the only film accurate that's done. Pretty much at the moment building the engine. I'm gonna guess that's why it is. But yeah, it's coming along nicely. I might make a community post about this when I'm finished it. I might I might make a review on this, I don't know. Like how I did with my Playmobil Back to the Future sets. How I done a review on them. I might do a review on this, who knows? And if you ask me will I get the Brian O'Connor Skyline car from the second Fast and Furious movie. Um, don't know yet. I want to see how this turns out. And if I do like I might get it. And maybe some more cars to build. I just prefer Playmobil altogether. It's just easier to build. And here is Dom himself. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it, it's hard work. But we're getting now. We're getting now. So. Yes. I also have this Only Fools and Horses like table. Basically, what this is for, I can basically put my computer onto this when I'm on the bed. That way, my legs won't be burning me off, which I see really, really find handy. There you got your four characters. Anyways, I think that's basically everything. So let's move on to the DVDs. You can see my finger pointing. Right, so let's get started. So the first DVD I have with me is Thomas and Friends, the Super Engine. There was the back. And here are the episodes. I'm not going to name them out. You can just pause the video and name them out yourself if you want. Uh, strangely, Clear the Road Engine is not on this DVD. Instead, it's Clear's First Snow. I'm gonna guess it was either they were looking for a picture of Cleo to put onto this DVD and just look at that episode instead, or maybe it was originally gonna be on this release. There's the disc, and I honestly do not like these discs. I think they started doing them around. I think it was Marvel's Machinery when they started doing this. I honestly just don't like them. I mean, look, it's just so lazy. I think they just got lazy with the last few discs of DVDs. 
you know in general uh, here's a leaflet for the Thomas and Skiff Track Master set and here you just got push along that's yeah that's just basically it yeah I just don't like these discs that are so lazy I mean the cover like the cover is mid it looks kind of cool but the disc is just not I mean it's basically like the Thomas and Friends YouTube channel you, you see something like this on the channel and the fact that we have a Nitrogen Era Thomas here is kind of weird given whatever the show is in at this point. I also find this funny because this is the Big World Big Adventures era and yet they still call these Thomas and Friends without putting the, the, the Big World Big Adventures titles on them. I guess there's no room to put them there so yeah. And here's another one I have, Animal Adventures. This one does come with Clear the Road Engine. Uh, here we have an advertisement for the, uh, basically the animal sets and story time podcasts. Do they actually still do this? I actually forgot. Do they still make that or... Given the fact we're now in all engines go, have they stopped making it? I'm not, I'm not too sure. And this here is the last ever Thomas DVD to come out in the UK. Well, besides Race for the Solar Cup. But this is forever the last DVD out of the original series. And, uh, yeah. Not really strong. It's not really a good send out, really. I mean, given the fact it was like the 75th anniversary of when they were doing season 24, I think we could have gotten like a special DVD, like as the last UK Thomas DVD, like a special DVD release, pretty much containing the best episodes of the classic era to like CGI and all that stuff. And fans can vote for the episodes, you know. They could have done something like that. I think that would be nice. Something... Something similar to like first class stories, you know, the 70th anniversary DVD. They could have done something like that. Or even like like the the best of Bob, the Bob the Builder DVD for the tenth anniversary of Bob the Builder. They could have done something like that as well. But still. Anyways, let's move on. So the next DVD I have is Brooklyn Nine Nine. Series 7, and this is actually a Region 1 copy. Yeah, it, it does look like it's Region 1, because if it was Region 2, there'd be more logos on it. It looks like Region 1 to me anyways. So, I did not ask for Region 1, I just wanted the DVD. But, this is what I got, so... Yeah, there's the DVD. And I also have Season 8, which I now have the entire series of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I have every season now. This also looks to be Region 1, and also, uh... This, this guy here, uh... Andre Kint... Bugle... Andre Bugle... I'm not sure how you say his name, sorry if I offended anyone with that, but um, this guy right here who played Captain Raymond Holt on the series, he sadly uh, passed away this month. He passed away on the 11th of December, sadly, just before Christmas, um, which is very sad. I would have mentioned him in my uh, Dennis and Friends Christmas specials when I was listening out people who have died. Like Matthew Perry on Friends, something like that. It's a shame because I pre-recorded the episode like a few days before he died. I'm I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I would have loved to put him in though. Still very sad. I might do a Brooklyn Nine Nine DVD collection as a tribute. Same thing with like maybe Friends for Matthew Perry. I don't know. We see. 
Friends, moving on, uh, we have Young Sheldon, the complete Tud series. For those people who do watch Young Sheldon or even the Bing Bang Theory, knows this is the spin-off slash prequel series of Sheldon Cooper. And also, uh, they finally started filming season 7 after the Hollywood strikes. But uh, season 7 has always been confirmed as the final season of Young Sheldon. To be honest, I think personally myself knew it was going to be the last season. And I think some other fans, if not maybe everyone, knew season 7 would be the last season. I mean, like. Eventually, they're going to have to kill George off because we all know George dies during Sheldon's growing up years. So we all knew. So we all know that's coming in this season. And I also have the complete fifth series, which I'm also happy with because now I own ev now I own all of Young Sheldon on DVD. Well, besides season seven, but that's not out yet. But yeah, now I have the entire. I have all of Young Sheldon now, so happy days. Up next is Mrs. Brown's Boys Live for the Love of Mrs. Brown. This is the third live stage of Mrs. Brown's Boys on DVD. This is the third live show I think they've done. There's the disc. I have now pretty much have pretty much every single Mrs. Brown DVD that's out there. That's if, if you, like, count, say, like, the box set here of the original series. As I pretty much have every single one of them now. I can't think of anything else that I'm missing of it. That's basically it. And also, uh, the Christmas special that was on yesterday, the last night. If anyone here who likes Mrs. Brandon watches it, and if you've seen it, uh, my personal opinion on it is that I thought it was actually good. I thought it was actually very funny. But I know not many people may not like Mrs. Brown now due to, uh, basically the downhill has gone of it. I mean, like, Rory and Dean are no longer in the show, and I know that for sure. I say the series has ups and downs since 2019, because, hear me out, 2019 was the last ever good year of Mrs. Brown before everything just went to shit after that. So, yeah, everything just went downhill after 2019, if you ask me. Some of you are probably going to say the show went downhill after 2017 when they brought in the year, Rory. Yeah, sure, it could have gone like that, but I personally think it was 2019 when, after that, and when we got to 2020, that's when the show went downhill for me. So, but I thought the episode was good last night, so I wait and see what the New Year's episode is going to be like. So anyways, next DVD, uh, The Two Ronnies, Series 4. There's discs. On to pretty much the box sets now. Okay, this isn't really a box set, but it's a complete series. Type of thing. Count out to strong. All three seasons of this show. This show is so underrated. It's, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. This is. It's so underrated. So there's series one. Series two. And series three on those two. For those people who haven't seen this show, I, I recommend you watch it. It's absolutely brilliant. It's so underrated. It, it is literally good. Sad it was a short lived series, but it, it's very good in my opinion. We also, up next is Ain't Hot Mom, the complete collection. Another very good series in my opinion. Another underrated series, if you ask me. Uh, for those who don't know, sorry about that. For those who don't know, this series is made by the same people who made Dad's Army. It's similar to Dad's Army, but it's set in a different country and all that. I think it's India setting. I might be wrong about that. It's been a while since I saw this series, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So here's series one. Two, three, season four, part one, season four, part two, series five, series six, seven, 
and series 8. Uh, yeah, it's a very good series. I think it's very under. I think it's underrated. Like Count Heart the Strong, I do recommend the series. I don't know. Do I prefer this over Dad's Army? That would be such a bold claim, given the fact it's made by the same people. Whoa. Oh god! Here we go. Sorry about that. I think it's not good as Dad's Army, though. I mean, let's be honest. Nothing. These two probably create afterwards would be... I think we all knew that this series would never top Dad's Army. But it's, it's pretty much like Dad's Army, but it's set in a different country. So, yeah. It's still very good, though, but... don't think it's good as Dad's Army, though. I have to have a rewatch of it. Next box set is Are You Being Served? The com complete package, as it says on now. They actually, this is actually a remaster of the box set. I think the original box set was something like a Hot Mom over there. So there's all the discs. Series 1, 2, Series 3, 4. Oh, Series 4 is a bit. I'm trying to escape there. Yeah, that's Series 4. 5, 6, 7, uh, Series 8, 9, Series 10. And a bonus disc. Or the bonus content really. There is a spin-off series to this. Which I think is forgotten. I think it was called Are You Being Served Again? Well like. They're in a different location or something. I'm not, I'm not really too sure. I can't remember it too much. But. Yeah it's basically. It has the same characters. And same cast members and everything. From what I can remember. But. Sits in a different location. Something like Bob the Builder. Well. Like Project Builder. They're in Sunflower Valley. But it's still the same characters. Something like that. Uh, final. Present. This thing is. Fucking huge. Literally. It's so heavy to lift. Like I mean. My my family over there. The box on down is big too. But it's so easier to lift. God damn it. <laughs> no seriously. Like this thing is heavy. But yeah, this is the complete Everybody's Raymond box set. This series is fantastic. One of my personal favorite American comedies and comedies of all time. This was like the very first American sitcom that I think I ever watched. Yeah, this was like the very first American comedy I ever watched. Because I was normally used to like to the Ibis and British comedies. Like literally, I think it holds a special place in my heart. Given the fact it was the show that introduced me to American comedy. Um. I'm I hate to admit it, but like, after we watching the entire series. Like. Like I I normally see this like on Channel Four, in the mornings when getting up for say school and then college. I hate to admit it, but I know all you're going to have shows like Friends, Frasier, Seinfeld over this. And yes, those are better shows in general. But I think I personally uh, prefer Raymond over Seinfeld and Frasier. I might even prefer this over Friends. Wait, what did he say? Yeah, I know. That's a very bold claimment that I just made there. But I think I do. I don't know why. I just personally do. I just think Raymond doesn't get enough praise as other American sitcoms do. I say this one thing though, it won't probably top off say Only Fools and Horses, Father Ted and Mrs. Brown for me because I think those three are my personal favorite sitcoms of all time. They those three shows is have a special place in my heart, but Raymond is very close up there. So that was season one. I actually needed a new copy of season one because disc five here was cracked. No, I'm not joking, like, the back here of the disc was actually cracking. Like, the disc could have split into two halves. I actually do own season 1 and 2 on separated DVDs, but I could not, for the life of me, find the other seasons separately. So I was like, screw it, I just asked for the box set for Christmas. Here's season 2. I 
I know a lot of people, the show pretty much did got better in the later seasons, say, like around season 5, 6. That's pretty much when the show started to get better, I think for most people. All around season 4, when things start to get better. Also, I love this image here of them in the bed. I, I just love that image for some reason. It just... It, it, it literally explains the entire show's plot. In one photo. It, it literally explains the show's entire plot. Season 4. I want I want to keep this picture of Deborah here for a second. Cause I want to see something in the other DVDs here. Look, see they it's the same clothing. Does anyone find that funny or weird? Because if I go to season six next, right. Oh, Neela. Let me let the phone fall off there. If I go to season 6 here, right? It's the same fucking clothing! <laughs> Literally, she wears the same clothing for 3 discs. Does anyone even realize that? I know it may not matter to you guys, but I thought that's funny. Also, I think this promo here is funny. <laughs> Keep on with uh, Season 7. I think this would be most people's favorite season of Raymond because it does include some of the fan favorite episodes. The most notable episode I could think of in this season would be the suitcase episode, which is one of the show's most famous episodes. Too right, it is very good that episode. Why do you keep saying she keeps wearing the same clothing before discs now? <laughs> It's not, it's, it's not bugging me or anything, I just find it hilarious how the rest of the characters pretty much change their clothing all. But yet, she's still on the same goddamn clothing for each disc. I, 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 I don't know. Season 8. I, okay, so, keep in mind. It's the same clothing, but th this time it's blue. I looked on the internet just for the fun of it, and I don't think this was actually, like, taken. This was pretty much just re-edited into blue, from pink to blue. <laughs> I'm not ranting or anything about it, I just find it hilarious how, like... the Yeah, it's basically the same clothing, the same image of her. I just find it hilarious, in my opinion, how it's, like... The same clothing for what? What was it? Four DVDs straight. Series 9. Last season. See, now she's changed it up. Sorry if I'm trying to be annoying now, but I, 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 I don't know. I just thought that was funny, in my opinion, how... She just kept wearing the same clothing for each of the discs. I know in the first three DVDs they're different, but from season four to seven, I thought that was a bit funny. And actually, hang on a minute, I want to see something. Right, so I opened up season two and three here, and huh, Robert's literally the goddamn same. Okay, so it's basically the same promo. Same clothing, same promo. This one... Yeah, in this one, her head is a bit... You can see the other side of her eye. There. That's literally the same. <laughs> That's literally the same. But this time, he's smiling in this one. Huh. There's something about the Raymond DVDs where they just keep using the same photos over and over. Despite all of that. Um, still, it's a fantastic set. 
It's a very, very good series. I would recommend this to anyone. It's just a fantastic series about family in general. But it's very good. I, I, It's pretty much in my top five, if not top three, for American comedies. It's up there with like two and a half men, married with children. What else? Scrubs even. Friend, by the way, for those people, uh, like Friends is also up there too. I don't know, I think I do prefer Remy over Friends. That's a bold claimant. But I think I do. I don't know what it is. I just think it's better in general. But anyways, that's basically all my Christmas presents. I'm not going to lay them all out here. You can go on my community post and look at that if you want. But yeah, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, see you guys next time, I suppose. And even though it's now the 26th, but maybe Christmas, I guess.